Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course guys, today I'm going to show you how to enable touch screen home button or basically what we call um, assistive touch for iOS 13. And of course, iOS 13 is the latest um, version of iOS on this particular device here. It doesn't matter what device you have, as long as you're on um, iOS 13, this should work. All right, so this include on newer devices such as the iPhone 11 or even on older devices, iPhone 6, iPhone 7, you name it. All right, so we're going to turn on the um, touch screen home button. And of course, this might be in cases where you just need the home button on your device. Maybe you miss it or of course, maybe your physical home button is missing. All right, so let's go straight into it. All right, guys, so the first thing I do is go to um, settings. Once you're in settings, um, just scroll down from the top. And of course, you're going to go into the feature that says accessibility. And of course, next, you're going to search for the option that says touch, which is this option right here. Go ahead and tap touch. And of course, what you're looking for is the feature known as assistive touch. Assistive touch is found right here. So simply go ahead and tap. And notice it gives you the information. You can read that on what the feature does. Once you do that assistive touch, you'll be in the menu right here. Go ahead and turn on. And right away, once you turn on an assistive um, touch, you should see the button right here on screen that you can manipulate or move around. All right. So, of course, um, right away, you get the feature. Now, guys, once you're um, enabled the feature, uh, I'm just going to go ahead next. And you can customize top level menu, meaning you can mess around with what this does. And as you can see right here, guys, you do get these features right here. Notice it says tap an icon to change. And of course, you can customize, you can even reset it back to its default in case you forget what it was. Notice it says your home, you can do Siri, custom, notification, device, control, and so on. All right, guys, so once you're here, of course, this is the overall setup for you to customize the menu. You can add and remove features. So for example, if I hit um, the minus, it will keep erasing icons. And of course, I can choose what each button does. But in this case, guys, what I'm going to do right here now is to show you what the capabilities of this button. So there you go. And of course, all, once you tap, notice it brings up this um, menu. For example, I can tell it to go home. It will act as a home button. For example, if I were to be over here and I tap and hit home, Notice it moves back to the home or if I'm in any menu at all and tap here and tap home, notice it goes back home. And of course, as I said, this is for those who miss the home button or of course, in case your home button, if you have a device, older device that um, doesn't have the well, device that has a broken home button. All right. So you can do that. And as I was showing you guys before, um, in case you can just simply go ahead and tap to remove. Or if you want, you can program buttons. Notice here, it says the one that's marked as home is doing home. So if I wanted to, I could change that. But of course, I'm going to keep it as home. There's no sense in changing that. If I wanted to, I could change one for Siri. Notice it is selected for the um, Siri feature right there. And of course, I'm just going to hit done. Now, of course, as I said, guys, you can keep removing buttons. So simply remove buttons until one remains. Once one remains, you simply tap it. So let's say we erase. I don't want to do that right now. Leave it as default and say I want to erase. I keep on erasing each of these until one is left. Then, of course, I'm going to tap. And if I want, I can select what it is, which is home. And I'll select home. Once I hit done, all I got to do is just tap and it will perform that one function, which is, for example, if I just wanted to act as a home button. So in case you missed that, if you wanted to just act as a home button, simply keep hitting minus until all of these are erased. And then, of course, once they are all erased, simply select the one that's left. Doesn't really matter which one. Select it as home. And of course, hit done. And of course, it will then act only as a home button. Likewise, guys, another cool way to do this would be to go back into this menu here. And if you notice, it says here, single tap, open menu, double tap, or long press. So if you wanted to, you could simply have open menu and long press in case you want to access the menu. And for a single tap, could be to open up the, um, the, could be to open up or to return home. So the choice is yours, so simply customize as you see fit. And of course, guys, if you're not using the feature, simply go ahead and tap here and it will be turned off. And let me just um, edit this one right now just to show you what I mean. So I'm going to customize uh, menu. As I said, if you want, you can simply go ahead and change the meaning of any button. Or if I wanted this, this act as a main button, or just go ahead and erase, erase, erase. Notice one is left. 
um, I'll stop and I'll select for this one notice it's set to something else I'll set it to home and notice I'll hit done and there you go it changes to the home button so they're all programmable so if I want it to in this case now this will act as a home button since there's no other function and let me show you what I mean right here if I hit it notice go here and if I go anywhere at all including into settings and I hit the dot it goes back home and of course now it acts as a home button you'll notice to get it out of the way it will snap to either side of the screen and straight away it will stay outside of the range of um, anything that might mess with your screen and of course guys in case you simply want to leave everything as default it reset and notice everything will return to normal which is quite nice again i can back out of the menu and of course i can select the single tap if i wanted to it says open menu for single tap if i wanted to i could have it as home so here we go notice when i tap now it's always home as a result of that and as a result now it's function as a home button perfect so if you want it's up to you and what you want and in case i want to disable that home button feature there i'll tap here and i'll say open menu and if i want there notice it goes back to its default original all right so using those um, customizations you should be able to um, customize how it behaves if you want to you can add it as a double tap so meaning if i double tap it will always go home or if i want it to it could act as a long press to always go back home so it's up to you as to how you want to program this there are many ways um, of course it's up to you and you can always um, go in here and reset as i showed all right so that's basically how to do that um, in case as i said if you're new to the um, iphone um, 11 or 10 or so on and you just miss the home button that feature is here known as assistive touch or of course if you have a older device the home button but the home button is not working or maybe you just want to unscreen home button it's up to you all right guys so i won't draw this tutorial on any longer as i said this is for newer devices and ios 13 or updated devices all right guys this is ricardo gardner as usual from blog tech tips and that's a quick tip showing you how to enable or disable the assistive touch um, feature on your device. Look at the same one until next time. Bye.